As more than 500 employees learn that they were losing their jobs at the Hershey plant in Oakdale, one employee is dealing with an even greater loss. She lost her arm in an accident working at that plant. Tonight, she speaks out for the first time to CBS 13, and Serene Branson has her story of loss, love, and recovery. Putting my right hand over my left shoulder as I'm laying in bed, praying, Lord, heal my arm, praying and hoping that my arm will somehow come back again. Erica Doman shares an entry from her journal, written just days after losing her arm. As I realize I can't dress cute anymore, wearing tank tops or beautiful blouses. Erica worked at Hershey's West Coast plant for three years, mixing chocolate. March 24th, she was cleaning a batter sifting machine when it accidentally went on, catching her hand, removing her arm at the shoulder. I remembered uh, being down on my knees and I had prayed, God, give me your strength. And when I had prayed, God, give me your strength, uh, I didn't mean strength to make the pain go away. I meant, God, give me your strength because I knew what had happened. And I meant, God, give me your strength because I knew that this was going to be the next chapter in my life. This is Erica just before the accident on the right, performing in a group that combines martial arts and ministry. And I can't believe I have her in my arms. And this was Erica embracing her brother's baby. I've never took my arms for granted because with my arms, I would praise God. With my arms, I did martial arts. With my arms, I did hula dancing. I'm from Hawaii. When I look at my pictures, um, you know, looking at my arms or, or seeing, you know, young ladies walking around, it, it does hurt. But Erica says her faith and, and her husband Matthew get her through each day. With my ring, I put it on my right hand. And so since I have it on my right hand, my husband went ahead and put his on his right hand. I realized that when I was driving that I'll never, my wife will never be able to, to hold my hand like the way she used to. She won't be able to hug me the way she used to. Matthew and Erica feel the $230 a week in workers' comp she'll get is unfair for a loss that wasn't her fault. Do you blame anyone, Erica? Things were done out of stupidity. I could say that much. But I do have forgiveness. And I really do forgive with my whole heart. And incredible optimism. God has been my strength through it all. And I will have a prosthetic arm, so I will move on with my life. It's great she and her husband have each other, too. Mm -hmm. Serene tells us that Erica actually plans to go back to school and get a degree in psychology, and she wants to pursue counseling. And Cal Osha is still investigating this accident, whether or not there were increased pressures at that plant to produce more that may have led to an unsafe working environment.